least two targets. One was the warehouse, the other... <sighs> You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> You're late, Fraser. I see you too. Holy shit! They took out the bus! What the hell was that? I thought you were a professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and today, today we are going to be talking about the next instalment in the Uncharted series, Uncharted The Lost Legacy. In this video, I want to take the time to talk about the expansion, some of the new features and in general, how I've been getting on from my time playing so far. Uncharted The Lost Legacy is, of course, a standalone expansion set some 6 to 12 months after the events of Uncharted 4. You take on the role of Chloe Fraser, first introduced in Uncharted 2, and alongside Nadine Ross from the most recent instalment, you embark on a quest to find the Tusk of Ganesh in the Indian Mountains. Of course, in true Uncharted fashion, there is all the usual stuff to do outside of following the typical narrative flow. There are a wide range of collectibles to discover. In fact, there are over 100 in Lost Legacy, as well as the optional conversations that unfold as you explore the world. There are also some additional items to collect on top of your typical treasures. I won't say what they are, but I will say that it will be of particular interest to you guys to collect them and not just if you're a collector. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for those. On top of that, there are also loot crates that you can find scattered around the world and you can break into these using the newly introduced lock picking mechanic. You'll usually find them in kind of heavily defended areas, but it tends to be worth your while going after them. Sometimes you get cool weapons, otherwise it's just like a restock of grenades, but generally speaking, it's worth your time. However, on top of this, whilst looking for treasures, other collectibles and crates, you'll also encounter select photo ops, typically in key vantage points, and you can then take photos here with your phone, and in doing so, you unlock additional story details or dialogue. So if you are really looking to make the most of your playthrough, then you'll be seeking out all of this stuff. Now, the gameplay you're seeing in the background is from the very beginning of the game. You might recognize some of it from PSX last year, but take a few moments to check out a little bit of new stuff in action, and then after that, I want to speak to you guys about open world exploration. Got you. Thanks. Come on. You still have the disc? Yeah. Keep moving. Watch out. Oh, oh the love of God. Been waiting for the Stay off. Steady. Oh. Ah, shit. Oh. Last door. Bloody. Got hundreds left. Let's go. So, Uncharted has always been a game about exploring, and in Uncharted 4, they created a pretty epic open space for players to venture in the form of the plains of Madagascar. Sure, it wasn't fully open world, in fact, the term they typically used was quote-unquote wide linear. They still want to be able to tell a story, but this new kind of broad open space gives players considerably more freedom to somewhat shape the direction that they're going within reason. Paired with the 4x4, which in itself presented some rather novel ways to explore and traverse the lands, and all in all, it was a pretty cool part of the game. But, in The Lost Legacy, they wanted to take that up a notch. This time around, your Plains of Madagascar equivalent is the Western Ghats. This is the area you see in the background. This space is actually the largest free-roaming level in the franchise history, and you're free to explore it in whatever order you please. As you explore, the story unfolds, and it's ultimately up to you to decide in which order you want to solve the puzzles, tackle the challenges, all the kind of stuff that awaits. Of course, outside of single-player, Lost Legacy also has 
multiplayer. It comes with Uncharted 4's complete suite of multiplayer content, plus some new stuff on top. Now, the footage you're going to see is still going to be single player, but to speak about multiplayer for a second, some of the stuff that it comes with includes the competitive mode with the 14 maps, six different game types, ranked mode, solo trials, and of course, all the plethora of vanity items to go with it. On top of that, there's of course the co-op survival mode for one to three players. That's the one where they were kind of up to 50 different waves of enemies you can fight through with bosses coming in every 10. You have warlord bosses and you have unique items to earn. But on top of that, new in Lost Legacy is the survival arena mode. This is also a cooperative activity for one to three players. But in this one, you take on 10 dynamically evolving waves, again, fighting bosses throughout. But layered on top, you have round modifiers to give you something else to think about. There are also new asset playable characters in keeping with the Lost Legacy story, more character skins for you to unlock, and also the cinema replay tool makes a return so you can relive some of your most recent matches. Additionally, top of that, for the photographers out there, photo mode makes a return, and this time with some pretty cool new additions. You of course have all the features present in Uncharted 4, like the ability to move the camera, remove or hide people in the shot, mess with the depth of field, motion blur, sharpness, saturation, apply filters, all that sort of stuff. But in Lost Legacy, they've also added the new facial features option. So if you want the characters in shot, you have a bit more control over what their faces are doing. Although some of them are quite frankly ridiculous, but still awesome at the same time. You can also now control the angle of the sun to get some really cool lens flares going on and also have kind of the sun creeping through gaps of ancient structures. And you can even add some logo overlays too. Uncharted is definitely one of those games where I personally made really good use of the photo mode. Some of the scenery is incredible, and especially when you mess with the settings, you can get some truly amazing shots. Perfect wallpaper material. Now, to round this out, I am definitely really enjoying my playthrough so far. I haven't finished it just yet, but at the end of the day, it has, at least so far, got everything I come to expect and want from my Uncharted games. It's got ancient mysterious temples or structures hidden away in jungles or mountains and the like for me to explore. There are puzzles to solve, treasure to collect, and of course the mandatory gunfights to break it all up. The stealth mechanic introduced in 4 is back, as is the ability to mark enemies, so combat can play out in a number of different ways depending on your playstyle. But in short, Lost Legacy feels like a great addition to the franchise, and it's genuinely really nice to have a chance to learn more about some of the characters that aren't always in the limelight. To round this out, I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit more gameplay to check out, but in the meantime, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, if you're looking forward to it, all that jazz. And if you do enjoy this video, then a like would be super appreciated. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out. We're clear. We're good. Trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motor. <laughs> like the disc. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. <laughs> is the gate secured? Not Let's yet. This quiet as long as we Waiting can. On Cobra These wheels, how many are there? Seven. Hmm? Something over there. What? What was it? No. 
Here we go. I think that's a lot of them. You all right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. about you. That's two. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Some big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> ah, here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Moissanar jigsaw puzzle? Sir? Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. Look at that. 